How you doing? And thanks for tuning in to Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting and equipment for cars, vans, bicycles, tricycles, buses, SUVs, minivans, big vans, box trucks, and most particularly, 2022 beautiful blue Ford Super Duty, just like this one here. Happens to be a Lariat, happens to also have the blackout package, and it also happens to be that gorgeous blue color Ford is using now. As you can see, first thing we're showing you right now, this is our auto flasher kit running the factory DRL lights. Now, you need to have these kind of headlights to run this kit. If your headlights don't have these white lights, you can't run the kit because the lights aren't there. So, that kit right there installs without cutting any factory wires. Very quick and easy, you simply replace one of the wires in the headlight plug with one of our wires. Hey, access both of those headlight plugs through the wheel well. Let me show you what else we did to this truck. A brief side note on that wheel well access. If you do have the aftermarket thick, heavy duty plastic wheel well liners, you may want to pull the grill and the headlights might be easier. Totally your choice. Either pop the grill and the headlights out or, as we do, go in through behind the factory fabric wheel liners on each side and you can access the plugs that way. Now above it, we have our auto flasher module running the five cab clearance lights as well as the white lights on the mirror. Passenger mirror sustained a little bit of collateral damage on one of the more recent plowing trips so that mirror is not working at the moment but when it's replaced soon it'll work just the same as the driver's mirror which you can see has the white light flashing now the mirrors are done with our plug and play kit that's a 10 second install no wire cutting no wire splicing absolutely nothing and uh, uses the factory mirror switches to activate those white mirror lights that's our newest product that plug and play white mirror spotlight flash kit and uh, again, that's a 10 second install right underneath the dashboard. At this time, the roof cab clearance light kit is still a wire cut kit, but we are researching the plugs for that and we will be advising as soon as possible when we can make that kit as well as no wire cut. Here's a nice side shot for you. You can see a little bit of reflective light coming out of that badge. We've went and put our thin X in amber amber in that badge as customer request and we alternated it with a 75 FPM split pattern. That's a thin X light in amber, amber. Here you can see that thin X a little bit better right there. Now amber, amber is a new color combo as of this uh, filming. So make sure you check our website for that. We typically carry amber, white, red, white, blue, white, green, white, and we've just recently introduced purple, white, and now we have amber, amber as well. If you don't need the white feature and uh, you just need amber only, we have that option as you can see here in the batch. We also have a very good video on how to install that light in the batch. We're going to link to that video right now in the upper right hand corner. Just go ahead and click on that link up there and you can see exactly how that install is done and how quick and easy it is to put a light in your badge if you happen to have a Super Duty with a badge on the fender just like that. Around the back, we kept it fairly easy. We used another one of our no-cut auto flasher kits. This particular kit runs the white reverse lights. You'll also see coming soon a kit to run the amber turn signal C-rings on the back of these trucks. Uh, this one right now running the white reverse lights. Uh, that kit comes with everything you need. There's a module that mounts behind the passenger tail light and you run the wiring forward right along the passenger frame to the auxiliary switches underneath the hood. There's another wire that goes over to the driver's tail light. Both of those wires have pins already attached that you switch one of the wires in the factory plug. So there's no wires to be cut. All you do is switch a wire in the factory plug behind the tail light, and this is your result. Of course, your headlight DRL and your reverse light and any other lights that you use the auto flasher on are all gonna work perfectly normal when you're not in flash mode. So when the auxiliary switches are turned off, the reverse lights revert back to absolute normal function and you have no loss of factory feature. The other thing that's uh, worth noting is all these auto flasher kits affect absolutely no other circuits on the truck. They're not tied in to any plugs that affect anything else whatsoever. You're isolating down the single wire for the light function that you're after. So there's absolutely no risk to any other circuits on the vehicle when you're done correctly. It's not going to affect anything else when put in the right way. The only effect you'll have is on the reverse lights or the DRL lights or those cap clearance lights or the mirror lights, whatever you happen to be flashing 
So, to give you a little recap on exactly what this package is, if you just want to duplicate it right down to the T, we've got our no-cut auto flasher on the front. Simple, easy install, comes with everything you need, going to wire into the aux switches under the hood, fairly easy procedure, doesn't cut any factory wires, comes with everything. We've got two Thin-X Amber Amber in the badges. Those are going to mount in the badges following the video I linked to earlier. We're also going to include 25 feet of... 22-5 power control. That's going to extend the Thin-X to the auxiliary switch location where you can decide what you want to do for patterns and all the other functions. So that's going to cover you on the Thin-X. The plug and play white mirror mod kit on the white spotlight. It's going to install in 10 seconds, plugs in right underneath the dashboard. All inclusive, you don't need anything extra. The cab clearance light auto flasher kit. It's going to come with everything that you need you're going to need to run a wire through the firewall to your auxiliary switches. Easiest way that I found is to go through the factory rubber boot on the driver's firewall area. I use my wire insertion tool and I'm very, very careful to open up the boot from the inside of the truck and insert the tool through only the outer layer. When you look at the boot, you'll see what I mean. It's two layers of rubber. You can open it up like a flower from the inside of the truck and look and see only the inner layer and then use the wire insertion tool. We'll link to that right now as well to pass through the factory rubber boot and you can get your wire through like that. The module for the cab lights is gonna mount on the passenger A-pillar area and the way we do it, as shown right here, it's a five second install right underneath the passenger A-pillar. Single wire, clip the wire, but attach the module and you're pretty much done. Run the wire from the A-pillar behind the glove box underneath the dashboard through the firewall over to your auxiliary switches. Now around the back, our auto flasher kit on the white reverse lights is comprehensive as well. Comes with everything you need. You're going to mount a module behind the dri uh, passenger tail light. You're going to run a wire over to the driver's tail light. You're going to run a wire up the passenger frame all the way to your switches. That's all included as well. So that should be everything that we're going to put into this package right here. We're going to throw some heat shrink in there. I'm going to throw in as well two fusible fuse kits because if you didn't notice, this truck is a plow truck. So I did do the headlights on a separate fuse. Separate fuse, separate switch. So that way, if they want to run just the extra lights while they're plowing, if those white headlights get a little bit distracting while they're plowing, no problem at all. Uh, so we're going to put two fuse kits in here as well as an assortment of heat shrink tubing to make your job a little bit easier and some other odds and ends. But that's going to be this entire package. Just for reference, this is job number 20044. 20044 and for an average install I would say between 8 to 10 hours on this particular build uh, that's again just average install average time uh, I'm sure as you do these more and more you'll be able to shave that time down but uh, anything over 10 I think might be a little excessive and anything under 6 you're doing pretty good so thanks again for watching any more details about job number 204 20044, drop an email in to Wicked Warnings or check the description because we're going to link all these parts right in the description. I'm going to link to a couple other useful videos like I had shown earlier as well right in the description. So um, let me know if you, this is a good build and you want to see more, drop a comment and uh, tell us what you want to see. Thanks again for tuning into Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, buses, bicycles, tricycles, SUVs, mom's minivan, big old box trucks, flatbed tow trucks. Hell, I'll even put it on a wheelchair if you want to bring it in. Or just bring me another nice Super Duty, just like this one. Thanks for tuning in. Build 20044.